one of these airpods is not like the other because one of these airpods is a clone hit pause and comment down below which one is your guess ready set go if you comment one well that was just a lucky guess because there is no way you could have got that right because looking at the two side by side it's a perfect clone now hip touch did send us both of these clone airpods for us to go ahead and take a look at and test out and see how well do they perform compared to the real deal now these black pods that's what i'm going to go ahead and call them throughout the video these retail on their site for 90 dollars and the airpods 2 with wireless charging these clones they sell for 60 dollars which is also available in both a matte black finish or the glossy white that we have here same can be said about the black pods now I'm assuming if you go with the matte black version, it's going to be the exact same texture that we have for our AirPods Pro. It's really grippy, it's soft to touch, and I really do like the material. Now if you decide to go in with the glossy white, honestly it feels identical to the real AirPods case. Like I don't know how they managed to do this, but they're using the same plastic material it feels like. But both of these AirPods, the clone ones, managed to take a full advantage of that iOS quick pair process that AirPods are capable of doing. If you look here, we could easily, just by simply opening up the lid, opening up the lid, we could just pair it like so. However, it's a bit different because it's telling us we're doing the not your AirPods process. If you ever went ahead and paired your buddy's AirPods, this is the screen you usually get. But you have to hold down the pair button and it just connects like so. But once it's paired, that's it. Now, they don't automatically sync up across all your other Apple devices using your iCloud account. If you want to pair them to like an iPad or something like another Apple device, you need to pair them up just like you did on your first device. But once it's paired, as soon as you take one earbud out of the case, it's going to automatically connect to whatever Apple device is nearby. The only way to remove it is by going into your Bluetooth settings and forgetting that device. Now let's go ahead and finally start off this video and just go in and talk about the black pods. That's what I'm going to go ahead and call them throughout the video, but I think these are the most popular or interesting ones to talk about. So just like the real AirPod Pros, these also have a built-in wireless charging. They support wireless charging, but I have a bunch of wireless charging key charging pads around my household and there's a 50% chance it doesn't work. I don't know why, mine might be defected, but I don't like that. So I just stick to the lightning port underneath to charge it. And then the AirPods case, it is a one-to-one -one copy of the AirPods Pro case. So any accessories for the AirPods Pro will work on these. So what comes included with their packaging is you do get a short lightning cable, which is really short, and a couple of silicone tips so you can change the size. And when you have everything all paired up and set up with your device, there is some iOS 13 functions, such as audio sharing. Actually works really well with these. And you also have the ability to change the name or move the shortcuts around to do other things. Now, when I was wearing these earbuds, there is a noticeable weight differences between the real ones and these clone ones, as these are much lighter than the real ones, as you can see right now on my scale. And it's very noticeable, even without the silicone tips attached. And if you look closely on the tip, they're not using the new design by Apple, they're just using a generic in-ear tip. So I guess that's another way you could tell the two apart. The case itself does feel durable, especially with the lid closed. It is held together magnetically. This also includes the earbuds. They don't easily fall out. So the case overall is well built. Although the little latch, unlike the official AirPods, they're using a plastic latch, which can easily bend and flex. And if using a lot of force, I'm pretty sure this will snap off. And the audio quality, it's okay. The audio quality isn't terrible, but I mean, for $90, these sound more like $60 earbuds in my brutally honest opinion. But needless to say, they will get the job done. I did notice that the volume icon on iOS, it does think these are standard AirPods. And if you toggle active noise cancellation, it doesn't do anything. It just shows that enables it, but it doesn't sound like anything happened. So I don't think these really do have active noise cancellation. It's just there for show. The stem also doesn't give the same feedback click like the real AirPods do because these are actually touch gestures like the standard AirPods. And the hands-free Hey Siri support doesn't work, which is no surprise, but you can still hold down the stem to activate Siri that way. 
Now, this does have a built-in microphone, but it's terrible. So I wouldn't really recommend using it just for that. But here's a sound sample if you want to take a listen. Hey, this is the audio quality microphone test with the black box. Nope, this is absolutely garbage. I do not recommend using this for just making phone calls. Then there's no mention if these are actually using Bluetooth 5. In fact, on their website, all they have listed is that they will connect to a Bluetooth 5 device, which is expected. And then the range isn't so hot either. It's not terrible, but I mean, it could be better. At most, I'm able to get like one hallway down, maybe four rooms at most. Anything further than that, I tend to start losing signal. Then not only that, it has terrible latency when listening to audio while viewing a video. There's a noticeable delay, which pretty much makes viewing videos unbearable. But if you're just listening to music, podcasts, audiobooks, as soon as the audio is playing, it works perfectly fine for that. So for $90, uh, I don't know. I would personally recommend looking elsewhere, but they do look cool since they are matte black. So maybe for a gag gift, this will be pretty cool. But these AirPods 2 wireless charging clones are more perfected. The wireless charging on these work all the time. I never had an issue with them. The LED indicator actually illuminates perfectly like the real AirPods. The black pods didn't really illuminate as much. It's also a one-to-one -one perfect copy of the case. So any accessories will fit fine on this. Audio sharing as well as other iOS features works with this as well. Like name changing, you're able to change the shortcuts and they also connect noticeably quicker. It has better range compared to the black pods. With these, I could go across two more rooms, so about six rooms of range until I experience any connection issues. And it doesn't suffer that audio delay when you're viewing a video content on your device and listening with the AirPods. So for everyday use, these are perfectly fine. And then the audio quality, it's actually really good in my opinion for true wireless earbuds. It's really bass heavy, but it doesn't sound cheap. So if you're the type of person that enjoys that base, you'll be definitely satisfied with these. Again, the iOS icon shows appropriately this time. The case itself is well built when the lid is shut. And then when you open it up, the AirPods won't fall out because they're also magnetically held together. The only way to really tell the real AirPods apart from the clone is if you check on the back, you may have noticed there's no text. And then on the grill of the AirPods, the grill is much brighter on the fake ones. There is a built-in microphone which sounds like this. Now here we are with the fake AirPods and uh, this is the microphone quality test which is 3, 2, 1. Now you're hearing me through the microphone built-in thing and uh, they sound okay. One thing I did notice is that sometimes it cut off. So here's the audio quality from the official AirPods 2. And now I equip the official real AirPods 2 on my ear and uh, this is the microphone quality test that you expect to experience with legit AirPods. So you should be able to hear me just fine. Again, that mic is unusable, almost sounds like I'm in a tunnel or something. All in all, these AirPods 2 clones are a better value for $60. These clones are more perfected compared to the $90 black pods. So if you're on a budget or whatever said reason you are looking to buy clone copies of the AirPods, I'll be sure to include the link where you can find them in the video description down below. Then Hip Touch was nice enough to provide us a discount code in case you are interested. But all in all, that was the overview of these clones from my personal experience. Now that video on the right side is some valid reasons why you should consider the real official AirPods instead of these clone ones. Even if you're on a tight budget, trust me, there's a lot of good reasons, valid reasons why you want this. So definitely do check out that video. And then the other video, that's just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Their algorithm, believe you're going to like it. So go ahead and give that a watch if you want to. And let me know in the comments if YouTube was right. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.